this is Romeo back for another Destiny video. Uh, today's Tuesday the 8th of March 2016 and today's challenge mode is Challenge Oryx. Okay? Or Oryx Challenge should I say. Right, uh, basically today I'm not doing another video on one of the challenge modes. Today I'll be doing a, a video on um, the jumping ships. As you guys know from watching previous videos I usually I've done videos of challenge mode Oryx when it first came out a few months back to uh, and how to beat it and also how to jump with the Titan uh, as when you're running relic in Oryx mode and various loot drops I got at the end of those challenge modes. Now uh, I know a lot of you guys are having problems with the jumping ships, okay? It's um, various people, guys, girls, ladies, gents, a lot of people having problems. So I've uh, got the checkpoint here at the crux. And uh, basically, I'm going to show you guys how to do the jumping puzzles on the game. Now, I'm going to show you my loadout first, okay? My loadout is a uh, Night Stalker with uh, maximum agility, and I'm using triple jump, okay? I'm going to cheat a little bit, and I'm going to uh, equip the Bones of Ao, so I'm going to drop myself down to 317. But that really doesn't make a difference. Right, guys, this is very, very easy, okay? I personally find it easier with the with the warlock and the titan than I do with the hunter but I'm going to show you how easy these jumping puzzles are and it'll be very rare that I'll use all four jumps with the bones of Ao. so what I'll do I'll count the jumps as I'm jumping so you guys can see exactly how I'm doing this okay so that was just a double jump one two there you go again another double jump okay I haven't used four jumps yet one, two, there again, okay? Very stressless. The best thing to do is actually to wait for the swinging pendulums to stop. Or, for instance, when it's halfway through now, then you can make a move. So there you go, another double jump. I haven't used three or four jumps yet, okay? A lot of people want to rush it and, uh, and beat their friends, but to be honest, if you're just learning, one, two, there we go very straightforward and I probably could have done that last step in one jump okay now I'm running through to portico uh, basically like I said this is very stressless guys you don't put pressure on yourself because I know a lot of people like I said try to beat their friends they try to get there first you don't need to worry about that what you need to do is uh, walk before you can run so just take your time and learn how to do the jumps before you start just like trying to beat everyone and making a fool of yourself because basically no one wants to wait around in the raid for someone to spend 20 25 minutes on their jump jumping ships wiping continuously if you see the ads just ignore them and jump through to the ship just ignore them and if you sit right here at the back of the platform there uh, the boomers can't hit you okay uh, and if they do it's very rare okay so the speed run off down okay. so now your first to jump and will spawn from the right hand side so uh yeah there it is okay and that'll be the second ship to jump on but we'll get to that first one two right that was two jumps to the first ship okay the second ship is there okay it takes its time and we'll just wait for it it's very easy okay and i'll count my jumps okay see you guys one two Okay, see I've done two jumps every time, two jumps, okay? Haven't used four jumps yet, I haven't even used two. So I'm waiting. One, gets close to it. Two. Okay. The reason I, I jump so close on the second jump to the ship or the, the last jump should I say to the ship is because sometimes you can die from just the the force or hitting the the ship below you. I've seen it so many times, guardian down, look, one jump, okay? Yeah, I've seen it so many times, guys. Guardian down, guardian down, guardian down. Uh, remember, on hard mode, there is no checkpoint because usually there's a ledge up there that's a checkpoint for you. It's not there on hard mode. You need to remember that, guys. The best thing to do if you want to practice, in my personal opinion, is just like I used to do on Crota. Um, I, when I used to uh, solo Crota, I used to practice on my own. Right. Right. One, two. Okay, I have not used, as you can see, guys, I have not used. Uh, uh, three or four jumps here. Right. I'm sitting down because obviously, you, as you guys know, when this ship to the, from the left to the right comes across, it can knock you off. So just sit down at the back, okay? There we go. Good. One, two, three. Okay, that was the first time I've used the 
three jumps for the type, the warlock, sorry, the hunter. So that's it. Oh jeez. Right, next time again. One, two. Okay, just two jumps. Yeah, I still haven't used the full potential of uh, my jumps and I haven't done much use the bones of AA yet. For example, look, one, two, three. See that? Three jumps, guys. Still haven't used the bones of AA. But it was just good to have them as a backup. Okay, the next ship will spawn quite late from over there, okay? This is very straightforward, it's no stress, guys. And believe me, it's, it's so easy to do. Right? And I'm actually doing this first run. I actually haven't wiped or gone back to orbit or nothing. Right, but one, two. You see? Very stressful, very straightforward. Okay, there are some ads up there. You can see guys, look, one, one jump. As you can see, I didn't believe it need the bones of AA, but I did equip them, but I did count, you guys all witnessed what I just did. Right, last section, for guys who didn't know, and who want to know, that that's where the chest is on this area, okay? And all you get from it is two moldering shards and maybe heavy ammo synthesis, blah blah blah. As you guys know who are veterans of this, you've got to jump on, someone's got to be standing on the left and the right uh, platforms or pedal stools or whatever you want to call them uh, for this glass to open. Right, so wait till it gets to about here and then jump off. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's the first time I've used the bones of AO now is for this end section. But I know it can be done, you can use the sword, there are other little cheats and, or glitches or whatever to use, but this is just the, the most basic and honest way of doing it, okay? And then you walk up the side of this leg, oops, and then fell off. Nice and slowly, if you just take your time and push uh, right on the stick to the edge, you'll be here. This is the door, guys, and um, see, I made the jumping ships first time, no dramas, very calm, very calculated, very relaxed, and here I am. Uh, I hope this YouTube video was useful. I hope you guys enjoy yourselves and have a fantastic day. Enjoy your challenge modes. Please comment, like, subscribe, whatever. And I'll leave you guys to it. So have a fantastic day. Thank you.